It's giving, it's giving bronzing. I literally just poked my eye. Wow, that covered. Oh, day. Wow. Like, it's pigmented. Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. We have a very fun video today. I'm gonna be trying out some products that I bought off TikTok shop, which is highly, highly addicting. I got a few things on there that I've seen trend on the app, I would say. I am testing out the famous, like, viral brow products on TikTok, so if you wanna check out that video, which I'm doing right now, make sure to follow me on TikTok, because I do a lot of mini reviews on there. But yeah, we're gonna do base, eyes lips everything i've even got lashes from there obviously we're going to start with eyes so i'm going to first put some p louise base which i also got on the tiktok shop this is in rumor 03 such a nice base for your eye makeup I can use a brush or like like me the beauty blender beauty blender is just quicker for eyes i got the be perfect cosmetics carnival the antidote palette this is in collaboration with stacy marie and it's gorgeous like i literally had to pick it up and i paid like 15 pounds i think for this it's huge look at it like how stunning i've literally got so many options question is i don't even know what look to do shall we go with like olives let's go with olives it's not going to go with my outfit though but oh well who cares first shade i'm going to take is ash which is like a beautiful olive green shade I think I'm gonna do like an, a halo. First of all, this shade's quite pigmented, which I'm quite happy about. I really wanna make it like rounded. Blend those edges, I'm gonna use the shade Suede, which is a very unique shade, but it goes with the green. I'm just gonna put a bit of darkness with the shade Antidote. I wanna take the shade Nectar with my finger and just pack this on in the center so far i'm really happy with these shades and that's just with my finger the metallic feels so buttery the only thing i would say is that this palette is so heavy like my f my finger my thumb is cramping up from holding it maybe i don't have enough hand strength right i'm just gonna curl these lashes but so far this eyeshadow palette is bomb like i literally can't wait to play around with it I'm just gonna put a quick coat of mascara. I literally just poked my eye. The next thing I got is from Doll Beauty. These are the Dolly Wispies XL. I feel like these will go really well with this look. Sometimes I feel like when I'm trimming lashes, I'm just taking too much off. So I'm, I think I'm gonna leave it as is. I literally get so excited trying new makeup, especially when it's like really affordable. Okay, try it. time to put these lashes on. Okay, so that's one side done. I didn't really trim it, but I think it goes. It's super wispy. Okay, so these are the lashes. I really love how wispy they are, but um, I think next time I'll definitely trim a little bit because they're kind of going towards the, the bottom here. I'm not used to having my lash go so much into the inner corner, but I thought I'd try it out. Yeah, so, so far I'm happy with the lashes. Let's move on to skin. I'm literally so excited about this. I got the Be Perfect Cosmetics Chroma Cover matte foundation and i got the shade w9 it comes in like super nice packaging this the bottle's so cute honestly my pump does not work so we're just gonna go in like this i feel like it might be a little bit too light I might just color correct quickly okay color correcting done and i'm just gonna use my beauty blender i didn't apply too much because i know this stuff's super full coverage Oh my god, I feel like I've got a good shade. First of all, this stuff is very thick. Like, it feels super thick, which I'm not used to. I have a really dry skin, so I usually go for, like, really dewy, hydrating foundations. So it'll be interesting to see how this sits on my skin, because so far, it's not feeling drying at all. Wow, that covered so well. Like, look at the coverage. Like, you can't even see any of my scarring, anything. That is a pretty good match, if I don't say so myself. And I bought it online. That's one thing that was good with them, is that they had really nice um, swatch photos. It was just more easier to match myself online. I always say that if a brand comes out with complexion photos, they need good swatch photos. Okay, 
very very happy with that so far i also got the be perfect cosmetics chroma concealer in the shade w4 i think this will be a good shade for me too let's just hope so comes like this oh i think the shade is not too bad although the coverage is not given on first impression it's very thin the wand is a little bit scratchy to be honest i haven't seen a lot of people talk about the concealer but i think i know why i'm not not too fond with the coverage right now but the shades good it says it has a velvet finish that creates flawless complexion i would definitely say like the coverage of this concealer is more on the medium side yeah i'm not too impressed but you know it's it's coming together oh my god this one was super pro popular like i had to wait for this to come back in stock this is the pink honey bronzing face frosting and I got the shade Salted Caramel. I don't even know if this is the right shade. Okay, it comes like this. I think I got a really nice shade. This is what it looks like, guys. My favorite, favorite brush to use with cream bronzers is this Huda Beauty Wishful one. It's actually for their skincare, but I'm just going to use it with this. It, this stuff's super pigmented. Like, it's pigmented. Let me not get carried away. That stuff's bomb. I love this. Oh. Okay, definitely worth the hype. It's like the perfect shade for me. It's giving, it's giving bronzing. Really happy with this. Super, it's like really creamy. It blends really nicely. Next thing I got is from Made by Mitchell. This is their blush, blush in peach sugar. I think you only need a little bit with this stuff. This is what it looks like. I think I got a really nice corally shade. I think I'm just gonna put some on the back of my hand. This is what it looks like. I've got bronzer there, ignore that. Super bright. So I think I'm just gonna take this with my beauty blender and then just use that to blend it in. Wow, how was that so easy to like blend in? <gasps> that is so stunning. It just melted into my skin. I'm really, really happy with that. Guys, the color is just so good for my skin tone. Okay, I'm really happy with that. The only thing that's not giving right now is the concealer. I don't know, I'm just not a fan right now. But let's set my face, nevertheless. I'm gonna do a bit of baking. I feel like when I bake, it definitely gives that more like flawless under eye look. Brush that off. Okay, I'm just gonna put a bit of like some of that ash shade on my lower lash line. I just say as well, like this palette had no like fallout, like little to none. It literally blends so nicely. And then I think I'm just gonna go in with a super dark shade. I think I'm gonna go with Mystique and just go really close to the lash line. I'm going to use a clean brush to just blend that all out. I'm feeling an inner corner highlight so I think I'm going to go in with silvery. Blend that out. How pretty is that? Obviously we need some mascara. <gasps> oh dare you. How dare you. Oh, I hate when that happens. Okay, makeup's done. Um, for lips, I actually got this lipstick in the shade Get Lippy. Um, it's by Doll Beauty. How gorgeous is this lipstick? I do need a little bit of brown lip liner. I need to find some good, like, drugstore lip pencils. This stuff is super pigmented. It has, like, a bit of a chalky smell, though. I kind of want to just do like a really defined contour lip. Wow, she's beautiful. Beautiful. Let me just get a clean spoolie and brush this off. Okay, that's everything that I got from TikTok shop. Guys, I'm living for this look. The foundation, the foundation is beautiful. Bob. everything looks so good the only thing that i wasn't too pleased about was the concealer but even this lipstick is bomb but yeah let's put this to the test it's currently just like 9 a.m now so i'll be back later on towards the end of the day and we'll see how all of this wears and yeah okay guys it's now 5 50 p.m so almost to six i've been wearing this makeup for the whole day i love this look so much like i literally feel like my makeup looks so flawless I'm gonna show you a close-up, but 
I don't know what the hell's wrong with my hair. Yeah, like literally nothing has budge except for my lips, but I did have sushi quite late and I didn't reapply the lipstick. And to be honest, when it comes to lipstick, I don't expect it to kind of last all day. I just carry it with me and reapply. I'm not mad at this lipstick. I really did like it. Super pigmented. It's really comfortable. It's a beautiful matte. And yeah, I'm really glad I got this in my collection now. And the shade is Gorge. Eyeshadow hasn't budged. And this is without any makeup spray. Foundation, the blush, even the concealer hasn't creased. Like my makeup is intact. It's intact. It hasn't budged. I feel like this is going to be my go-to for events and stuff. But I'm just loving the eyes and everything. It. I would say the foundation did oxidize a little bit. It's very warm on me, so I would have to bring it down my neck a bit. When I went out, it was still like, okay. Like it wasn't like a drastic change or it wasn't really orange. It's just a bit warmer, you know? I really love that blush in this shade. It's so stunning. And I'm not mad at the concealer. I feel like it worked out in the end. I don't know, this whole look is banging and it was all affordable. Let me show you guys a close up. Super intact. And you can see like, the match is pretty good. So yeah, really happy with everything that I got. Very shocked by the concealer in the end. I feel like everyone needs this eyeshadow palette. Like, it's stunning. It's stunning. Look at all the options. Colors blended so well. They're super pigmented and it lasted all day. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want a part two of this one. Um, thanks so much for watching and make sure to subscribe so you can join the family. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Bye.